This is Eric Erikson. He was a German American psychologist known for his work in identity. In fact, he coined the term identity crisis, a developmental crisis that everyone faces throughout different periods of their lives. Identity crisis is a time of intensive analysis and exploration of different ways of looking at yourself. Quote, the sense of identity provides the ability to experience oneself as something that has continuity and sameness, and to act accordingly. Erickson proposes eight stages of psychosocial development, where at each stage a person faces a developmental crisis. This crisis is a conflict between a potentially positive or potentially unhealthy alternative. The way a person resolves each crisis has a lasting effect on that person's self-image. And view of society. Let's briefly look at all eight stages of Erikson's theory. The first stage is basic trust versus basic mistrust. In the stage between birth to 12 to 18 months, Erikson describes the important crisis event as feeding. Depending on how the infant experiences feeding, the infant may or may not develop a loving, trusting relationship with the caregiver. The second stage is autonomy versus shame and doubt. From about 18 months to three years, a child is developing physically, including holding things, walking around, learning to control their bowel movements. So at this stage, toilet training is the important event where a child may begin to learn autonomy or experience shame and doubt. The third stage is initiative versus guilt. From around three to six years old, a child continues to become more assertive. The important event here is independence, and whether the child is taking more initiative or perhaps they are being too forceful, which can lead to feelings of guilt. In stage four, industry versus inferiority, children are ages six to twelve, and the crisis event is found in school. At this stage, the child can be more industrious by learning new skills. Or they risk a sense of inferiority due to the challenges at school. Stage five is identity versus role confusion. Usually, this is the period of adolescence where peer relationships are the most important. The teenager must achieve identity in studies, work, gender roles, religious views, socialization, and more. Better self-understanding can lead to a more stable self-identity. Or can regress into role confusion. Stage six is intimacy versus isolation. At this stage, young adults are prioritizing loving relationships. Here we see relationships can become more intimate while others suffer feelings of isolation. Stage seven is generativity versus stagnation. By middle adulthood, many adults deal with the priorities of parenting. And or mentoring, each adult must find some way to satisfy and support the next generation. Lastly, stage eight is ego integrity versus despair. In late adulthood, the important event is a reflection on one's life. This culminating event results either in a sense of acceptance and integrity of oneself, or there is despair about a lack of fulfillment. I hope you enjoyed hearing about Eric Erikson's stages of psychosocial development.